Commercial hunting refers to hunting of animals for the purpose of selling parts of the animal or the entire animal to gain money. It is an economic activity that involves hunting as a way of life. Commercial hunting is destroying wildlife populations such as orangutans across the tropics. Commercial hunting may also be a strong threat facing rainforests. Over the past 50 years, commercial hunting has caused a rapid increase in wildlife depletion. Some plant species in the rainforest rely on animals for seed dispersal. The importance of subsistence hunting has become outweighed by hunting for trade. Due to advances in technology and the installation of roads, mainly for logging, within the areas where subsistence hunting previously occurred, commercial hunting has become more prominent. In tropical Asia, commercial hunting from large-scale regional trade in wild animals has replaced traditional subsistence hunting. Trophy hunting refers to the selective hunting of specific animals for the purpose of obtaining a trophy or prize to keep as a memento of the hunting experience. The trophy can be any part of the slain animal. A trophy includes the antlers or horns or tusks of animals, the furs or skins of animals and even in some cases the whole animal itself. Due to trophy hunting, the population numbers of many species are declining, particularly the predator species. Brown bears are an example of a species whose population size is declining due to trophy hunting. These bears are amongst the most prestigious trophy animals. In Alaska, the Kodak bear is one of the main trophies for hunters. Hunters pay approximately $20,000 US dollars or more for the opportunity to hunt these bears. Trophy hunting is resulting in a, in a phenomenon called reverse evolution. Evidence shows that the body sizes of animals are becoming reduced due to the effects of hunting on animal populations. Trophy hunting permits only certain sizes of individuals to be hunted and are being sold at or auctioned for thousands of dollars. Due to this, hunters are becoming pickier about the sizes of animals that they hunt. They prefer individuals that are bigger in size or who has bigger antlers or larger tusks or the most beautiful mane. This has resulted in larger males in populations being killed in favor of smaller males and has resulted in the body size of individual animals declining. Hunting of dominant individuals has also resulted in the suffering of younger individuals in the population. Due to the absence of dominant males and even older females in the populations, younger individuals have to fend for themselves whilst they are so vulnerable to certain aspects of the environment. Polar bears are an example. Young bears remain with their mothers for two to two and a half years, learning how to hunt and survive. If the mothers are killed while they are still with their young, the young polar bears are vulnerable. Trophy hunting has also adapted the behavior of animals. Trophy hunting drives a multi-million dollar global hunting industry. It is thought to generate approximately 200 billion US dollars per year across 23 countries within Africa alone. In 2001, trophy hunting in Tanzania had an income of between 27.1 million US dollars and 36.1 million US dollars. Trophy hunting hunters pay higher fees per client than conventional tourists. Due to this, trophy hunting is able to generate revenue for conservation in areas which may not be suitable for conventional tourism. Trophy hunting also provides an economic benefit that are greater than the benefits of conventional agriculture. Trophy hunting and commercial hunting should not be used to finance the conservation of species. Whilst these forms of hunting may generate large incomes for the conservation in the short term, in the long term these practices could result in a decline in population sizes. Hunting pressures could also result in genetic changes within species, thus changing the way they evolve. Conservation needs to find alternatives to hunting for financial purposes.